the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Ah, uh, how much time am I getting? About three minutes here? Why don't I just sit on this picture for about three minutes? Wouldn't that be nice? Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, yeah Brian and Janelle said it's fine. I better, I better move on. Just a gorgeous picture from Hanover all over the Susquehanna Valley. 79 right now. Dew point at 52. It feels nice. A little bit of a breeze, too, to make it feel very comfortable out there. Head down to Glen Rock. Sunny, pleasant evening near 70 as we go overnight tonight. It cools down maybe 50s. Yeah, comfortably cool night with clear skies. Tomorrow looks just a good day, but it's going to be a little warmer. A little stickier, too, and there's a front approaching. Uh, ahead of it, we typically warm up ahead of a cold front. We'll get in the mid 80s. Uh, could be a stray shower, but again, don't cancel any plans. No problems rain wise. I don't think there's a whole lot of it. Anyway, 80 in Reading and uh, Lancaster right now. One better than that in Harrisburg. 82, Gettysburg and Carlisle. Very nice with low humidity, too. The real hot stuff is out over the west. But you notice back here, Marquette back to Sioux Falls, 60s and 70s. Ahead of it, some 80s from Kansas City up to Chicago. That's our next front. It's no big deal because the support for it's going way up into Canada, but it does look like that front. You can see some showers along it. Not much, though. There's just not much rain because of a high pressure pretty much in control. That has brought in northerly flow, pushed this front through here yesterday. Now we're going to get into southerly flow ahead of that front tomorrow. That'll warm it up a little bit, but uh, no big deal. It looks like uh, pretty good weather coming our way. Right now, clear skies all across the board. There's the area of high pressure moving over West Virginia tonight, moving offshore tomorrow. So as it moves away, we pick up that southerly wind arrow. Yeah, that'll bring in a little warmer temperatures, a little more humidity, so a few clouds. As we get probably into the evening, it could pop a shower. But as the sun sets, the chances of the sun of the shower really go down. And what that front does is just kind of sweep out any moisture. We get back into this northerly flow of air. A few wispy clouds around on Saturday, but it looks like a beautiful day as more high pressure moves in. Now, what this high is going to do is move out over the Atlantic. And it depends on exact uh, how, how strong it is and where it moves. That could uh, influence the, uh, the path of Dorian. We'll keep you updated on that. But for us, it looks great. Comfortable evening. Get out and enjoy it. Like I said, ahead of that front tomorrow, we get that southerly flow. It brings the dew points back up into the sticky range. But just for a little while, they're done. It's comfortable again as we head into the day on Saturday. And that, for that regard, there's three comfortables right on through the weekend. It is looking pretty good. So warmer day tomorrow. Football Friday evening, it could be a sprinkler or shower around. I don't cancel any plans. Don't worry about it. No big deal. Comfortable day. Happy Valley's looking pretty good, too. And then a few showers as you get into maybe uh, Sunday and Monday. I don't think it's a washout, but there will be some showers around warmer as we head into next week. Looks good for the shore, but look for more clouds and maybe some showers, especially as we head toward Labor Day. Surf temperatures have come down just a bit, as you have noticed. I've been watching. They yes. <laughs> reached a high of 78, now down to 71. Yes, well, remember we had Aaron offshore yesterday, yeah. and that maybe churned things up a little bit. Like a polar plunge now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just came from the other ocean, and it was a little, a little cooler. cooler. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jill.